You're listening to Arirang Radio's Wonders of Jeju. This is a segment where we tell you about the lives of people living right here on the island. I'm your host, DJ Jamie. This is Humans of Jeju. Jay, yes. welcome into the studio. Hi, Jamie. You're looking, you're looking like uh, spring. <laughs> spring, spring already. <laughs> well, uh, I guess it hmm. was quite nice weather today, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, it wasn't uh-huh. too bad. I think we had some snow on the mountains. That's but, right, mm-hmm. in front of my house. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But then any everywhere else is like spring today. Mm. But I did hear it's going to be snowing next week. Oh, really? Mm. Again? Just, yeah, again. I know. Wow. Even though it's kind of warm. And it seems like spring has started. Okay. Well, so I guess I can say that you're wearing spring colors today. And me too, I guess. All right, but I'm kind of curious to know who is going to be the human that we'll be learning about today. Sure. And Jamie, uh, do you like watching Korean movies? Oh my goodness, good question. Mm. I I normally did not watch so many Korean movies in the past, but these days they're so fun to watch. Seriously. So I'm watching more and more of them. Mm, Okay. Yeah. Because what about you? Do you like watching Korean movies? Oh, yeah, I enjoy watching Korean They're movies. They're fun. There's a lot of movies that I like to watch. Yeah. I like the um, kind of like historical movies as well. Really? Mm. Wow. Like about the past, like Korean history. Oh, really? They're kind of The traditional kinds? Moving. Yeah, With yeah. the hanbok, you mean? Those two and oh. also modern history as well. Modern history. Uh, wow. Yes. I like ones like, you know, Extreme Job. Did mm. you watch that one? Oh, yeah, I watched that. I like that. the funny ones. Yeah, the I don't funny know. ones, the comedy ones. Yes. <laughs> like the outlaws and things mm-hmm. like that. <laughs> All right. I'm wondering why we're, why we're talking about movies, though. Yes, because today, uh, the human of Jeju that we're introducing, mm-hmm. um, we're going to talk about um, if you have watched several Korean movies or dramas, mm. you probably have seen him on screen <gasps> at least really? once. Because he appeared on about 50 movies, <gasps> wow. such as Miryang, The Secret Sunshine, uh-huh. Nom, Nappun Nom, Isangan Nom, oh. The Good, The Bad, and The Weird, mm-hmm. and 국제 시장, oh. The Ode to My Father. That's a really popular mm-hmm. one. And has been active as an actor for 20 years. <gasps> I wonder who that is. Mm. So should we listen from our guest? Oh yeah, let's do that. 한국에서 어 이제 배우 일을 하고 있죠. 영화와 드라마와 연극 이런 세계 공간에서 어 플레이를 하고 있는 배우입니다. 저는 김민재라고 하는 주 무대가 보통 다 서울에 응집돼 있고 근데 저 같은 경우는 이제 정규화돼 있고 조직처럼 이렇게 돌아가는 약간 공장 시스템이라고 해야 되나? 같은 시간에 출근해야 되고 늘 같은 시간대에 밥을 먹어야 되고 출근길, 퇴근길 이런 어떤 그런 좀 일률적인 어떤 시스템에서 좀 벗어나고 싶었고 일단 네. 그래야 이제 제 주도적인 삶에 대해서 좀 들여다볼 수 있을 것 같았고 또 아이가 생겼어요. 결혼하면서 아이가 생기니까 제가 또 배우 생활을 하면서 어려웠을 때늘 이렇게 좀 시골에서 자랐기 때문에 저는 경북 군이 북해면 대울리라는 데가 있어요. 거기 팔공산이라고 대구 엄청 유명한 그 산자락 밑에서 자랐는데 그 어렸을 때 이제 친척 형들하고 개울가에서 놀고 뭐그 추억들이 놀았던 추억들이 굉장히 저한테 좀 힘이 되더라고요. 이게 사회생활 할 때는 그래서 조금 시골로 돌아가서. Mm. Please explain. Yes, so today we talk about <laughs> actor Kim Min Jae, mm-hmm. who performs on stage such as plays, dramas, and movies. Uh, although the main stages are clustered in Seoul for the actor, he wanted to get away from a factory like system that is standardized oh. and organized to where you have to go to work, get off work, Mm -hmm. and even eat at the same time of the day every day Mm -hmm. so that he could, you know, lead his own life and also take care of his children as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, Also, since he himself grew up in a countryside called Daeyuli Village of Gyeongbu Gunigun Bugemyeon area uh, on the foot of a famous mountain range called Palgongsan, uh, he has memories of playing with his cousins in the streams, and those memories have always been a great help to him. I see. So wanting to go back to the countryside and once again feel the feeling of like stepping on the ground 
and the dirt. Uh-huh. Uh, he came to Jeju Island. Oh, so he ended up here. Awesome. Well, I've always thought that the lives of actors are unconstrained and could freely manage their schedules, but I guess that's not always the case. Yeah, that's not. Um, he mentions in such capital market, uh, it is hard to get away from like such standardized system. Mm -hmm. Uh, In this system where capital is involved, you have to make contracts and it's a circulating process. So being repeated, uh, it seems that people are placed in a frame that does not allow uh, even a small individuality. Mm -hmm. And he thinks that everyday life is destroying that individuality. Oh, I see. Um, Of course, not all city life is like that, but Mm -hmm. he still thinks that it's not far off from it. So he's making efforts to make it better. I see. Well, I can really relate to his story because I've been living in the city for so many years before I moved to Jeju. And that was one of my reasons that I came here as well. Mm. So I think there's a lot of people who do this this for the same reason. Well, then what is the life in Jeju? How has it been like for him, like for this actor? Can you tell us? Yes. So first of all, um, he mentioned it's not so easy. Mm, Um, Of course, you know, there are benefits that he received from the natural environments of Jeju Island, but also on the other uh, other side, had to kind of fit in and adapt to the natural life as well, Mm -hmm. Uh, especially in the east area of Pyosan, where Mm -hmm. he lives. Uh, He mentioned that the wind is especially strong. Uh, They're Uh very strong there. Uh, But the benefits that he has felt from living on Jeju Island compared to living in Seoul is like going out the door of the house with his children every day and being able to play in the yard and enjoy their time there. Uh, Also, even though we can't see it with our bare eyes, Mm -hmm. he also mentioned that there are lots of benefits of living inside nature as well. Oh, definitely. But Pyosan, wow, we've been talking about Pyosan quite often these days. Interesting. Okay, is there a life that the actor has imagined about? So as a creator, he says, in order to create for him, um, it doesn't mean expressing a concept or an idea ideological things in his head, Mm -hmm. but it's actually more about needing to know what the world uh, is like, the world that he lives in. I see. So you have to look at how your neighbors live, but when you do this work, sometimes it's more focused on planning too much and centered on the flow of the money. Mm. Uh, And when it comes to like commercial films or dramas, uh, for him, this works are sometimes enjoyable Mm -hmm. and sometimes difficult as well. Yeah. Um, But he is aiming for a slightly different project. Mm -hmm. Uh, What he wants to do a little more is closely examine the life that we are living in Mm -hmm. uh, with people and opening our eyes to discover the things that are oppressing us. Oh. Uh, And these are the things that he thinks are the most important as well. Oh, very interesting. So I'm wondering, is there something in Jeju that he's doing uh, to do so? Yes, and he's established an art cooperative called the Kra Art School. Oh, okay. So let's listen. Okay. Kra 예술학교는 말 그대로 이제 지역 활성화를 시켜 시키고 싶은 어떤 문화 예술 공동체고 또 지역 커뮤니티라고 해야 되나요? 그냥 사람하고 사람 사이에 어떤 서로의 어떤 소통할 수 있는 어떤 중간 허브 역할을 하고 싶은 그런 놀이터라고 말씀드리면 될것 같은데 음. 자기 개인의 이야기가 좀 살아나길 바래요. 누구누구의 흐름대로 살아가는 것보다도 일단은 자기가 살아온 거 이때까지 그게 뭐 본인이 생각했을 때 보잘 것 없다 하더라도 그렇지 않고 되게 자기가 살고 있는 거에 대해서 굉장히 존중 받을 수 있고 스스로가 좀 수술의 삶을 좀 보듬으면서 갈수 있는 창작자가 됐으면 하는 거고 뭔가 포지션이 뭐글 쓰는 사람 뭐 배우 이런 포지션 나눠져 있긴 하지만 기본적으로 저는 좀 창작자가 됐으면 하는 이야기꾼이 되라 결국에는 뭐 자기가 주제를 갖고서 작가가 될 수도 있는 거고 글 쓰고 그 안에서도 영화를 만들 수 있는 거고 연극을 할수 있는 거고 뭐 소설을 쓸 수도 있는 거고 그런 창작자가 되게 많죠. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Please explain what he says. So when we talk about culture and art school, uh, it's a cultural and artistic community that wants to revitalize the region. Mm -hmm. And it's like a playground that acts as a hub where people can communicate with each other. Mm -hmm. Uh, Here, he hopes individuals to live by his or her own stories and not by how others live. Mm -hmm. Uh, He hopes as creator, uh, they can become creators who can respect one's way of life, uh, even if 
that person doesn't think it's uh, insignificant mm-hmm. and can embrace the life by oneself. Uh, so even though positions are divided as writers and actors, uh, he hopes fundamentally everyone can become a creator, mm-hmm. uh, like a storyteller. Right. So in the end, one can have one's own subject, mm-hmm. write about it, make movies about it, and even act about it and become uh, such creator. Wow, this is really interesting. It, it's a very new concept for me. Um, it seems very interesting. So all that happens in the Kra Art School? Yes, and and they have uh they even have like scenario workshops and uh-huh. even uh connect with Hanguk Yeosul Jongap Hakkyo which is the Korean National University of Arts mm-hmm. uh this is the school that the actor Kim Min Jae has also graduated from oh, okay uh they hold cultural events mm-hmm. and even invite various teams to communicate with the young adults and local re- uh residents Mm -hmm. Uh, All this has been happening for the last three years now uh, since the school has been established. Since it's been established. It was very interesting to hear him say how he he wants to help people develop their stories, even if it's insignificant, into uh, stories that they can write about or turn into movies or even novels. So, yeah, it's really it's it's kind of like finding your spark. Mm. Right. Um, But what is the meaning of kra? So kra is now a collection of various artistic words mm-hmm. and terminologies. But the biggest one is akura, mm-hmm. which is um, Jeju language. Oh. Meaning, you know, I will do this and that or I'm going to do it. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Akura, like, you know. Can okay. you use it in a sentence, like for one example? Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The momo I don't know. Like, oh. <laughs> you know what you're going to do? <laughs> <laughs> That's int- I didn't know it. I didn't realize it was Jeju dialect. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Akura. I tried my best. Anyway, <laughs> Thank, so, you. Um, Thank also, you very much. Also, it has the meaning of becoming big, you know, mm-hmm. Akura. Oh. And the community built. Akura. Uh, like, uh, Akura. Akura. Right. Akura. Right. Right. Okay, interesting. <laughs> so the community built this all together. They I said. see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. So it's like Jeju dialect plus Korean mixed together. So Kra Art School has been built for three years now, as you said. And is there a specific program that he, rec- he remembers the most? Well, first of all, the biggest thing is that there are not many places where, you know, local people are able to tell their stories and feel comfort from it. And also not many places where someone can kind of safely share one story in like this healthy ways. Mm-hmm. Uh, and in Kura, uh, there was an activity where they did, and this was an improvisational uh Visational acting mm-hmm. uh, with various subjects as the locals saw changes in their lives becoming more respective, uh, more positive, and a little more organized. Uh, they felt this happiness, the mm-hmm. locals, and feeling and feeling the convey uh, and this kind of feeling conveyed to the actor as well. Oh. Uh, uh, as for each individual stories, uh, he had a wish that the stories would come to life. Mm-hmm. So that that was a very special project. Oh, I see. So he's finding inspiration from seeing the locals, you mean residents, mm. um, seeing how they're being affected and inspired by this practice. Interesting. So specifically, what kind of stories were there? Can you share? Mm. Let's listen first. Okay. Well, for example, my father was a little bit 그 과정에 이제 코로나 때문에 육지에 이제 제사를 참석해야 되는데 참석을 못 하니까 이제 꿈에서 그 자기가 고사리를 계속 따고 있는 꿈을 꾼 거예요. 어, 그거를 이제 말려서 그 아버지 제사상에 올려 드리려고 어. 그런 어떤 본인의 어떤 그런 꿈을 꾸면서 좀 우울감에 시달리는 부분도 있었고 그런 어떤 이야기를 이제 꺼내 놓은 거죠. 그러면 이제 그걸 즉흥적으로 연극으로 보여드리고 어, 하는데 그 연극 안에서 이제 그분의 이야기를 굉장히 또 플레이어들이 또 아빠 역할도 해주고 또 본인 역할도 해주고 고사리 뽑고 있는 본인의 모습을 어, 어떤 그 배우는 고사리 있는 그대로 표현하지 않고 고사리를 내 마음이라고 표현하더라고요. 내 마음 하나, 어, 내 마음 둘 이렇게 꼽으면서 그 또, 아빠 역할 하는 사람은 괜찮다고. 어, 아빠한테 미안해 하지 않아도 된다. 내가 여기서 너무 잘 놀고 있다, 친구들하고. 어, 그런 어떤 연극 이제 만들어주면서, 어, 본인이 좀, 그, 아빠에 대한 어떤, 그, 좀 무거운 마음을 다 같이, 
조금 이렇게 덜어놓고 숨쉴수 있는 과정으로 만들어 놓는 어떤 그 시스템도 되게 좋았던 것 같아요. Okay, now he sounds a little bit more like a healer or psychologist even. (laughs) Mm. Can you please explain? Uh, So, for example, there was a story of a woman uh, who was not able to attend her father's funeral Mm -hmm. in the mainland because of the COVID-19 situation. Uh, But in her dream, she was dreaming of picking brackens and drying them for her father's memorial ceremony table. Mm -hmm. So she was feeling some uh, depression from the dream, Mm -hmm. uh, but decided to open up and tell that story. Uh, Then from her story, they showed an improvisational acting. Mm -hmm. Uh, In the performance, there were players who played the role of the father. Someone played the role of the woman who Mm -hmm. told the story. And another actor acted out the scene of picking the bracken. Mm -hmm. And as the brackens represented the daughter's heart, and the uh, actor who played the role of the father acted to express that the daughter did not have to feel sorry for him. Mm -hmm. uh, So being able to tell and share one's tough story and being able to get it off one's chest through such system is what the actor likes about the program as well. Interesting. So it's kind of like role-playing to go through your emotions so that you can let go of your emotions. I guess that's a way, it's quite, it sounds very therapeutic. So curing one's heart through improvisational acting sounds like a great program, and it has a bigger meaning to it as well, as it is held along with the local residents. I think that's very meaningful. As for the actor Kim Min-jae, what is the meaning of being an actor or creator for him? Yes, uh, and he gave an example of TV program called Sing Again, uh, where unknown singers appear, oh, yeah. and they perform to let their names be known. Mm-hmm. And for for their performances, the artists are given the chance to arrange the music any way they would like. That's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, to tell their own stories. Mm-hmm. Uh, like that, all arts are fundamentally the same, he thinks. Mm-hmm. So it is beautiful when one has the control over what one wants to tell. Mm. And if there is a system that can share how valuable and precious oneself is, uh, that's what he thinks is um, art. Mm. And, I see. Well, it sounds like one's own story is as important as a mo- as using a motive in art uh, for actor Kim Min Jae. Is there a reason why he has focused on such a subject? Uh, since their family actually went through some tough times during his uh, childhood, uh, whenever there was conflict, he felt like he lacked in ways of solving the problems. Oh, okay. So in such way to solve the problems, uh, then... Uh, then just being angry about it was mm-hmm. how he got interested in uh, one's own story, like looking back at his stories. Mm-hmm. And while acting, he has been able to find supports and he's relied on many teachers and professors um, who've helped him out. Oh, I see. So it also kind of sounds a little bit, I might be wrong, but it also sounds a little bit by through acting, he was able to Um, find himself and find his own emotions. So it's really interesting to see how you can do that in many different ways and through um, thinking of your own story as you talk or play these role-playing roles at the same time. If you are in Jeju, 88.7 in Jeju City, 88.1 in Seogipu City, 101.9 in the Daejeong area. We're introducing to you a human, an actor named Kim Min Jae, the famous actor. <laughs> and, and he lives here on Jeju Island, which is awesome. And we were talking about how, about the Kra Art School that was established by Kim Min Jae himself and about programs that they have held. Now let's talk about the actor a little bit more. He's been in so many films and dramas and from the works that he has done so far, Um, Is there like a work that he considers as his representative work? Actually, he said he has yet done a work that he considers as a representative work. Wow, okay. Uh, The reason for that Mm -hmm. is because uh, he has yet to play a major role, but actually more of supporting roles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Also, in his case, he has mostly played the role of a bad guy, Mm -hmm. a role that usually involves giving the main character hard time. (laughs) Okay. So so for him, as of now, uh, it's hard to say he's done any representative work. Wow, he sounds very modest Mm. because, you know, um, doing a supporting role is as important as taking on a major role at, at the same time. Well, then, is there a certain role that he would like to play? 
Uh, let's listen first. Okay. 저는 그냥 늘좀 보편적으로 우리 삶에 진짜 삶이 조금 나아질 수 있는 힘이 될수 있는 약간 이 억압하고 있는 구조들을 발견할 수 있는 그런 이야기 안에서 그런 역할을 하고 싶은 거죠. 바카사탕이라든지 오아시스라든지 이야기가 오아시스에서도 이제 이야기가 큰 맥락에서 보면 누굴 구하는 얘기잖아요. 성에 관심, 공주를 구하는 이야기거든요. 근데 그 구하는 과정에서 그 공주를 구하지 못하게 하는 요소들이 어떤 게 있는지. 사회 공, 곳곳에. 뭐 이런 것들을 이제 관객들하고. 그걸 꼭 알려주시려고 막 이렇게 하는 거 아니지만, 결국에는 그 여자가 가장 두려워하는 나뭇가지 그림자 이렇게 그 자기 공간에 갇혀서 벗어나지 못하는 그 나뭇가지 그림자의 원인이 되는 나뭇가지 이렇게 잘라준 남자. 나타나면서 조금만 이렇게 다른 세상을 조금 발견할 수 있고 긍정적으로 조금 나아갈 수 있는 어떤 모험 이야기긴 한데 그런 이야기도 좋죠. Well, it sounds like he wants to be like a hero. Yes, yes. <laughs> Let's please explain. So he wants to play a role in a story where kind of irrationalities of the society is shown, mm-hmm. and in the stories changes are made. To make a better life for us. Mm-hmm. Uh, for example, he wants to play a role in stories such as the movie p a k a s a t a n g the Peppermint Candy, mm-hmm. or Oasis, uh, the movie Oasis, mm-hmm. uh, which are in big context about someone being saved, like saving a, prin- a princess trapped in a castle. Mm-hmm. So in the process of the saving this woman, there's barriers that get in the way, uh, which represents the things that the audience can relate to in our societies. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then a man appears to remove the things that are trapping this woman and making the world a more positive place for her as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, so these are such stories that he would be interested in playing in a role. Wow, in. you did a really good job in explaining this because this mm. was a very difficult concept to catch mm. or grab. Also, looking at his Instagram, it seemed like the actor is uh, farming as well. Actually, it's not a farm that he's running uh-huh. himself, but other family members are running Jeju Lemon Farm, he mentioned. Oh, and okay. And he's helping them out, um, helping oh, them out as I well. I see. And before they deliver the goods to like major restaurants and mm-hmm. cafes, but now their community is trying to make a product out of it as well, uh, such as like lemonades okay. and lemon teas. Mm-hmm. Uh, in this way, they can make a profit model for the actor coming to them, uh, as well as the community. Uh, This is also because he believes that there is a need for profit, you Mm -hmm. know, because in order for them to not worry about money and do the work that they want to, uh, they need money. Mm -hmm. And this will help them enhance their skills as well. Wow. So he's actually really working together with the community and not just living here as if it is his home, but he's really digging in deep and holding hands with the residents, which is awesome. Is there something that the Kra Art School would like to try from now on in the future? Uh, So first of all, the most important thing that he thinks is that uh, there has to be more creative activities Mm -hmm. uh, that one can do based on his or her uh, real stories. Uh, whether it is a writing class or a movie uh, creation class, mm-hmm. uh, he needs. He thinks that real stories should be the base. Uh, he thinks through it, we can learn what one thinks is beautiful and what one is moved or touched by. Mm-hmm. And by doing such experiments, we enhance our skills. And at the same time, you know, we enjoy what we do as well. Mm, interesting. Uh, also, mm-hmm. there's more. Okay. So should we listen? Oh, yes, please. 제주 잔치 음식 같은 거를 엮어서 공연이랑 그렇게 진행해 나갈까 좀 생각하는 게 있고 왜냐면 제주도 잔치 문화가 많이 사라져 가기도 하고 저는 제주 살아보니까 제주 음식들이 너무 맛있더라고요 그게 좀 처음에는 되게 안 맞았어요 약간 너무 거친 느낌 들어서 근데 살아보니까 어 괜찮더라고요 되게 맛있고 그리고 제주 저는 잔치식으로 이제 장가를 왔는데 이 잔치 문화가 너무 간소화되기 시작하고 신구간에 맞춰서 좀 하고 싶었어요 이게. 제가 어쨌든 포커스가 치유 목적이 좀 많이 있으니까 사람들이 좀 이렇게 와서 웃고 떠들고 또뭐 울기도 하고 화도 내고 이렇게 떠들썩하게 잔치 모양처럼 좀 그런 게 에너지를 쏟을 곳이 있으면 좋겠다는 생각이 드는 거예요. 그러니까 타인하고 같이 이렇게 교류하면서 The more and more I listen to this, I am getting the feeling that Kim Min Jae really likes 
people and mm. humans. Mm. Can you explain what he says? So he's ta- uh, he's thinking about mixing performance with Jeju Chanchi culture, mm-hmm. the banquet culture. Mm-hmm. And that's because he sees Jeju Chanchi culture disappearing. Mm-hmm. Uh, at first, he didn't think that the culture fit him. But living in Jeju, he's become accustomed to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, as the culture is becoming more simplified, he, he also mentioned, mm-hmm. through the performance, he wants to build a Chanchi like place where people can come to laugh, to be loud. You know, you can even cry and even get angry and kind of spill out all their energies as well. Right. Interesting. And he also, I also heard him talk a little bit about the Chanchi food, which mm. is a very, at first he, he wasn't used to it, but then I guess after you live here for a while, you get used to this culture here. Right, right. And you, it just becomes a part of you and you start to um, get used to the food that is served here. But yeah, at first it can definitely feel a little bit rough, mm. but then once you get used to it, it, it starts to taste homey. Um, so I can also relate to that comment as well. Lastly, this is uh, like our official question, but what is the place in Jeju Island that he would like to recommend for our listeners? So let's listen. Jeju에 오시면 당연히 크라 크라이고요. 크라에 오시면은 일단은 쉼이 있습니다. 네. 어느 누구도 어, 뭐 짐을 좀 내려놓고 내가 존중받을 수 있는 그런 문화예술 프로그램들이 있고 또꼭 그런 걸 하지 않아도 그냥 뭘 하지 않아도 쉴수 있는 거내 스스로가 편안하게 언제든지 여긴 열려 있는 곳이고 뭐 그러려고 만든 곳이기 때문에 어 제주에 오신다면 은 크라이도 들리시고 또이 주변에 있는 또 아직 주목받지 못한 오름들 마을 구석구석 식당들 사람들 그렇게 만나는 재미가 있을 것 같아요. 뭐 어떤 뭐 관광 지역보다도 사람을 알아가는 재미들 요즘 같이 이렇게 뭐 코로나 시대고 또막 너무 좀 뭐랄까요? 사람한테 말 한마디 붙이기도 어려운 시기긴 하나. 그래도 여행 왔을 때 어떤 그런 긍정적 에너지로 사람을 만나고 다니면 조금 더 자기 일상을 회복할 수 있는 경험을 할수 있지 않을까. Mm, I heard the words healing and positive energy. Yes. <laughs> Can you please explain? So he'd like to invite um, everyone to visit Crawl mm-hmm. Art School. And if you're here, uh, this is also a place where you can just relax. Oh, everybody's you know? welcome. Yes. He says you mm-hmm. don't have to join the programs. You can come to relax as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, he hopes that you can come and meet people with positive energy to revitalize all your daily life as well. Oh, wonderful. Well, I didn't expect that this was so open to the public, but definitely it's great to hear that he's welcoming all of us to come and just go there to relax and find ourselves uh, some positive energy and some healing time. So thank you so much for introducing this wonderful uh, human today, Kim min actor Kim min And you did a great job in delivering the message. So thank you so much and stay safe until we see you again. And thank you for listening. Well, I hope you enjoyed that segment. If you're curious to find out more about Jeju, we encourage you to go check out our website at arirangradio.com forward slash wonders of Jeju. Or you can check out our Facebook page at Wonders of Jeju as well as our Instagram page at Wonders of Jeju. We're going to take you on a journey to learn more about what's happening here on the island. Mm-hmm.